everyone, it's Meg, and today I have a little collection chat video just to chat about where my head is at and my thoughts and everything on collecting because I am kind of changing the way that I'm going to be doing things. But before I do that, I did want to show the items that I got because I wanted to decorate my shiny solo binder the way I decorated my shiny group binder. So I did buy some stuff from an awesome Etsy seller and it's just so cute. I love all of their items and they included some extras for me, which was so great. It is a person that I traded with also for one of the dice cards so that was that was just incredibly incredibly awesome um let me see where is their card okay so this is their card i recommend you check them out on etsy because their stuff is so awesome i was trying not to buy everything <laughs> It was really hard because their designs are so cute, but I definitely recommend that you check them out on Etsy, and yeah, I just, I love all of their stuff, and thank you so much because in my trade, this came in the trade, and the dice sticker is so freaking cute, but I'm just, I am, I am so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy with everything that I got. Um... I did come with a pack of these little <laughs> stickers, which is so, so cute. I did buy this. Um, also came with washi tape that I bought and I used to decorate this part of the binder. I did just want this washi tape because it's really pretty. I don't really have many K-pop themed washies. I have them from Seasons Greetings and stuff like that, but not many that are fan made. And this is so beautiful. And I did get this lovely key pin. Oh my god. When I saw this pin, I don't collect pins at all. But when I saw this pin, I knew I had to have it because it was so pretty. And just the way that it looks exactly like the album, like the backing, just it's beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm really happy that I bought that. But yeah, I just decided to decorate just because I find it I find it fun to decorate my shiny binders. I think it's really, I don't know, it's, it's kind of calming, but I didn't want to film myself decorating it because I changed the way that I wanted it to look at least like four times. <laughs> so um, it didn't really look this way in the beginning and I'm not a super creative person when trying to put stuff together, but I really love their shop and I will definitely be going back and buying some more stuff in the future just because their shiny thing are beautiful and this print came in a plastic uh, sleeve so I did leave it in the sleeve um, I just taped the sleeve down to my binder because <laughs> I wanted to keep it in perfect condition because again just it's gorgeous I love their shop it is so amazing but yeah I just wanted to show that and then I guess I kind of have a, a background for you to look at beautiful shiny just because it's been a while since I've had a collection chat type video so <sighs> I'm like, ah. So I'm going to be changing the way that I collect, I think, and I've been thinking about this for a bit because basically, I think what kind of pushed me more definitively in this direction was when I had the opportunity to go on a trip to Chicago, which I'm going to be going and it's going to be so much fun and it's my first trip since 2019 out of the state, which is very exciting for me, and I love Chicago. I went there a couple of years ago for a BTS show, and it was great, and I do plan on going to see a wrestling show. I'm going to be seeing AEW and New Japan show, and that's going to be really awesome, but it, it, was, it, it took a lot of money. <laughs> it took a lot of money, and so a lot of the money that I would spend usually on albums I, I couldn't do albums and plane ticket, <laughs> and I couldn't do albums and event ticket, so I had to kind of prioritize, okay, I want this experience, I need to put my extra funds towards the experience in order to have it, which means I can't put that money towards albums, and I have no regrets about that because I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. Um, I feel like for me... It was really easy to just go on an album spree during everything that's been going on with the panorama <laughs> um, because we were all inside our house and we couldn't go anywhere and we couldn't do anything and we couldn't hang out with people and it was just 
very easy at that time to focus on collecting because there was really nothing else to do. I couldn't go to a concert. I couldn't go on a trip. I couldn't go on a vacation. Couldn't really even see my friends who lived like 30 minutes away. Couldn't hang out with people outside of my house. And I have no regrets about anything that I've bought. And I'm not downsizing anything that I've already have. I'm not doing any of that because I do love all the albums that I currently have. I have no regrets about buying them. Um, but it was a lot easier to, for me personally, to justify spending all of that money on albums and photo cards and things like that because I didn't really have anything else I could spend that money on <laughs> because I couldn't do anything. But now that I have opportunities to do stuff and to go places and to kind of invest more into my other interests and my other hobbies, it's it's not going to be feasible for me to continue collecting the way that I have been collecting. Um, my photo card collections aren't going to change just because I don't collect for very many people at all, <laughs> which is wonderful. So like I'm not dropping any photo card collections because I collect for just a very few people. But the way I collect albums is definitely going to change just because I can't I, I, I can't spend all the money that I used to spend on albums if I'm also going to try to be investing it and spending it on other things that I like because if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I have a very random Twitter account. I talk about a million, <laughs> a million things that have nothing to do with each other. You'll find me talking about K-pop, wrestling, music, um, politics food, being old, sleeping, <laughs> um, just just random 90s references, Boy Meets World, just a bunch of random stuff. Um, it's more of a personal Twitter than a K-pop Twitter because I've had it for years and years. So I just talk about everything that I like there. And I have a lot of varied interests and I want to be able to spend more money on the other things I like which means that I can't put all of my extra funds towards you know buying uh three four versions of albums all all of these like Japanese albums and things like that if I also want to I don't know buy lots of clothes because I can finally go out now <laughs> or if I want to you know buy makeup because I can go out now or if I want to buy wrestling t-shirts because that's fun and I would like to do that and I just I feel like for me I kind of have to prioritize balancing out my interests and I don't I can't do that if I continue to buy like four versions of albums for like so 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 many people <laughs> like so many people and what really what really got me into this like trying to figure out if I would be okay with this is when proof went on pre-sale for BTS because I like my mind broke <laughs> my mind broke because I saw the previews and it looked so beautiful but I knew that the the standard edition I think that's the one the expensive one that comes with the photo card set random photo card a bunch of other stuff because it's an anthology album and it comes with three CDs I already knew that was going to be expensive <laughs> like I knew that was going to be expensive but when I saw the price I was like oh no <laughs> I just oh it hurts so badly um because I have all of BTS's Korean releases, all the versions. I don't have all of the versions of their Japanese stuff, but I do have all the versions of the Korean albums. And so, for me, it was like, if I don't get both of these, then my Korean album collection is forever going to be incomplete. And I have a complete collection up until now, including like the, the limited edition of BTS World. It's, it's, it's complete. It's complete, complete. And then I was thinking to myself, if I don't buy this, it's not complete anymore. And BTS is one of the, the groups that I just have a very thorough Korean album collection for. And I was thinking to myself, I just can't spend this money right now. <laughs> I've spent so much money on this trip. I've had to spend a lot of money on life stuff, on lots of life stuff. Um, I just can't spend... $65, $70 on an album, on, on one album. I just can't do it. And 
I, I, I just, I can't, I just can't. And so I got the compact version, which I'm very happy about because it's cute and it's compact and I can put it on my BTS shelf and it's going to fit nicely and I have room for it. Um, but I just had to be okay with that, with the fact that I can't, I can't get it. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't allocate $70 right now for one album. And I was thinking to myself, I don't think I want to spend $70 on an album. And that was kind of reinforced when the NCT 127, because the previews for the came out and it's so expensive. I think like one or two of the versions are over a hundred dollars. No, I'm not doing it. I will buy the album secondhand on, um, on some Japanese site through <laughs> Neokio, I guess. Um, will I be able to find the photo card for a good price at that point? Not sure. There's so many other things <laughs> that I, I, I would, would need to and also maybe want to. I could buy so many albums for $70 versus buying one album for $70 or buying one album for $100. And, you know, having an alternate version, having the compact version was so great. And I really appreciate that they made a more affordable option, that it wasn't just the standard, that they also did a compact version because I really want to own the album. And I'm excited to hear the, the, the especially the tracks on um, CD3, which I think the third CD is disc only. And I'm very happy because I can play it. <laughs> so that'll be fun. I can I can rip the CD and then I can transfer the MP3s to my phone. It's going to be great. I'm really happy that I'm able to do that with a more affordable option because, yeah, I just can't. I just can't do that. I just can't do that right now. And it just had me realizing that I don't I don't necessarily need a complete album collection, all versions of everything all the time to be happy with my collection anymore. It was something that I put a lot of pressure on for myself with with maintaining that because it gets to the point where you start having a complete collection and then you just keep like wanting that to be complete and I'm a completionist myself so when I start something and I have a complete collection I want to keep it moving and I want to keep it going and I just... It, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts when your collection's incomplete. But then once you get to the point where you don't have something, it becomes easier to be more selective about the things you buy because you already don't have a complete collection. So if you only buy one version of this later, I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to change the fact that your collection's already incomplete. So in that way, I think it'll, it'll, it'll be okay for me. I, I just have to change my mindset on that. I have to be less concerned about having a complete collection, all versions, everything, and just focus on being happy with what I do have. And I just, I, I think, I think I'll definitely won't be buying as many albums as I have been buying. I just can't. <laughs> I can't buy as many albums as I have with all of the things that I need to do and all of the things that I want to do. I just can't afford to do that. It's just not in the cards for me. I wish I could. If I had like three jobs or something, <laughs> or if I made a lot, a lot of money, I could, I could maybe manage to, but I don't, I don't make a lot, a lot of money. So that's not really something that would work out for me. But yeah, so the way that I collect albums will be changing. The way I collect photo cards won't be changing again, because I only collect for shiny NCT 127, um, Red Velvet and Ace. So that'll be staying exactly as it is because I don't have, I'm pretty much caught up on everybody already. I think I'm just missing one card for Dice and I might maybe get that in my group order albums. So I'm pretty much caught up for everyone. I am missing some June cards from Butterfly Fantasy, but that's a, that's a journey. <laughs> We're going to take that journey slowly. Um, so I'm not, I'm not stressed out about the photo card collecting aspect of it. I'm, I'm still very excited for photo cards, but for albums, I'm going to try to de-emphasize needing to buy all versions of everything all the time. I'm gonna buy what I can. Uh, there'll be some releases where I do buy all versions, but there'll also be some releases where I don't buy all versions, and I'm just gonna be okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay with that. It's gonna be fine. I'm excited about it, honestly, because I want to continue collecting K-pop. I don't want it to be something that stresses me out. I don't want to be thinking that I have to have a complete collection, so I have to buy all these things, because they're not things that I need. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I don't need albums. They're things that I want. I want to support the artists. I love buying physical albums. I have ever since I was a kid. I love supporting them in that way but I don't need four of the same album that's a want <laughs> so I have to be just okay with maybe sometimes I can get all versions but there'll be a good amount of times where maybe I get one or two and it's fine and it's okay and if you can't buy an album that is completely okay there's so much emphasis I feel like K-pop companies just put out so many versions of everything all the time. There's so many photo cards. There's so many pre-order benefits. There's so many things to collect. There's so many fan sign cards and merch items. And it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. And it is okay if you cannot buy the stuff. The most important thing is the music. Because I think at the end of the day, we're all here because we like the music. <laughs> I don't think you would buy an album if you hated the album it's about the music and it's about your connection to the artist and when you fall in love with an artist's music you connect to them and that's that's the real joy and it's okay if you are not able to buy an album you are no less of a fan than someone who has a very complete collection for them as long as you connect to the music you can support in your own way streaming buying a digital album on iTunes and stuff like that. Like there are definitely ways to support that do not involve buying physical copies of albums. And I also am running out of space because <laughs> I have a lot of albums. So that, that also factors into it. Um, but yeah, so on my channel, they'll, they'll, there, I don't know that they'll necessarily be like, cause I don't buy multiple versions for a lot, a lot of people, but I'll probably, there might be some changes, and maybe I only get one or two versions. Um, and then there might be some more, like, K-pop hauls where I do less individual unboxings and more kind of overviews of things that I've bought, just because I get so stressed <laughs> from, like, work stuff and life stuff that, for example, I have my TXT albums, I already opened them, but this these last couple of days at my job have been so stressful I have been so mentally stressful that I could not sit down to do an unboxing it when I got my albums and I just wanted to look at them because I wanted something to make me happy because I was so stressed <laughs> I was so incredibly stressed my anxiety was so high I just needed something to excite me and so I opened them and my pulls are great and I'm very excited about it but I feel like I don't want to have to kind of sit down and do an unboxing when I'm in a bad mood because I feel like it'll show in the video. I won't be excited. I won't feel super compelled to dive into because I like talking about the music in my unboxings. I like talking about what I like about the music, about the instrumentals, about the beat, about the vocals. And I feel like I won't really focus on that if the whole time I'm doing it, I'm still feeling anxious about things unrelated <laughs> to the album. So I don't ever want to do an unboxing when I'm in a bad mood. So I feel like for me, sometimes it's just easier to compile albums into videos where I've already opened the albums and then to film when I'm in a good place so that way I can just talk about the things I want to talk about and get my point across and be happy. So I think with um, TXT I'm going to put those albums together with my 17 album and then do a video together collectively just talking about those but I feel like those will be more of the kind of videos that I do. I'll still do unboxings of course but depending on when my albums come and what mood I'm in <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do an immediate unboxing. I might, or I might just wait to do those kinds of videos. But yeah, so there might not be as many videos on my channel just because of that. And that's something else that I... I've, I've felt a lot of pressure on myself. And I had to kind of just be like, stop pressuring yourself. <laughs> stop pressuring yourself because for me... I made my channel and I asked my friends, I asked my friend Hannah and my friend Kath, can you watch my video because I don't know how it sounds and up until then I had never made a video with me talking. I'd only made fan made videos with music behind them and things like that. I'd never made a video where it's just me talking like this with all of you with like things in front of me talking about the things that I like and it made me really nervous. <laughs> It made me really nervous to put myself out there, to put my ideas and my opinions out there, to do all of that because I didn't know if 
if it would come across well. It just, it, it kind of gave me anxiety to do that. And they're great. <laughs> they're so great. They were like, yeah, we'll watch. And I never really gave it much thought outside of that. I never really thought that anyone else would watch my videos, except for my two friends who agreed to watch my videos. <laughs> because I just wanted a place where I could sit and talk about the things that I like. Um, because I had followed so many K-pop uh, YouTubers and I loved watching them talk about why they loved their albums and why they loved their collections. And I wanted to have a place where I could talk about that. And that's why I created this channel. And I have met so many amazing, amazing, amazing people through my channel. And it's been a blessing to me, honestly, especially during the past couple of years where things have been just very hard and it's been very isolating, I think, for everyone. Having that connection online when you couldn't have that connection physically it it just, it's so valuable and it was so good for my mental health and I'm very appreciative of that. I cannot believe all of the incredible people and all of the great friends that I've met. That just blew me away. The fact that people started watching my videos and that people still comment on my videos and people listen to me and listen to my rambles. It's something that I, 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 I couldn't really think that that was something that was going to happen. I never thought anyone would honestly watch me, but I always wanted to post regularly because I just wanted, I wanted to make videos. I wanted to talk with everyone. I wanted to have something to post. So I, I made a promise to myself. I said, I'm going to post once a week. I'm going to post once a week. That's a good amount. And sometimes I would post more than once a week if I had albums come in. But I said, once a week, Saturday, I'm going to post like every Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to post at least something. Um, and lately, <sighs> I just, like, with me buying less stuff because of the fact that I've been spending so much money, I don't really have a lot of things to post, and so I'm just, there's been, like, I feel like I put pressure on myself to try to just keep the regular schedule, and... I, I don't want to feel that pressure about my channel. I don't want to feel like, oh god, I have nothing to post on Saturday, let me go buy something so I have something to post on set. I never want to feel that way. I never want to feel like I need to buy something for my channel. I want my channel to be, I bought something, here's a thing that I bought, and I'm just going to film it when it comes, or maybe later, like with TXT, just because I got it and I was just not in a good mental place <laughs> to be doing an unboxing at the time. I, I want it to be me just talking about the things that I like. I don't want to have this pressure that I put on myself to have content. I don't have anything to post on Saturday. I need to go buy an album to, 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 to post something. I don't want it to be like that. So I might have less videos that go up just because I don't know when I'm going to have stuff coming in because again, I've been, I've been spending a lot of money. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of money on other stuff. Um, but I do want to keep my channel going because I love talking with all of you and I love K-pop. It's just, I can't collect K-pop the way I have been over the past couple of years because you know, I just have to, I have to kind of diversify <laughs> how I'm spending, but I do want to keep my channel going. I just, I don't want my channel to be a source of pressure for me either. And it's pressure that I put on myself and I don't need to put that pressure on myself. This is a, this is a place that I enjoy talking about the things that I like. I don't want it to feel like it's stressful or anything like that. So when I have stuff, I'm going to post <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to have a good time posting. Um, I'm not going to put any kind of pressure on myself to, have a regular schedule if I don't have things that I can already post. I don't want to buy stuff to post for a video. I want to just post the video with the stuff that I already bought. But yeah, so those are the changes basically that I'm going to be making for me. And I think it's good. I'm excited about it just because I have been wanting to spend more money on other interests. But I really can't do that and spend money on all this K-pop at the same time. <laughs> because... It's very, it's very expensive, especially if you, if you buy albums, you know how expensive it is. You, especially for international fans, even with like K-Town for You's 40% off, okay, say an album's 40% off and it's $12, that's great. But when you add shipping, that's like 20 to $30, sometimes more than $30. So you're really still spending 25 to $30 on an album if there's four versions times four, <laughs> it's a lot of money. It is no joke. It is not a joke at all. It's very expensive. Again, it was much easier to buy all of the versions and all of the things when I really didn't have anything else to spend my extra money on because 
there was nothing else really to do. <laughs> we were all in our house and, and it was a lot easier then. But I just, I can't, I can't do all of the buying of all of the things anymore. And I'm okay with that. I really am. I wasn't, I wasn't initially. <laughs> I was like, how can I keep this going? I really can't. I really cannot keep it going. And I do plan on still buying albums because that's my main thing. That's the thing that started my channel. I did not start my channel with photo cards. I used to keep my photo cards in my albums. <laughs> I did not even have a photo card binder. I just bought albums. That was the joy of buying albums. And so I want to keep buying albums. I just can't keep buying albums at the rate that I have been. Like there are so many releases that have just passed me by <laughs> and I've made a little note in my phone. I have it in notes app. I have all the albums that I've missed um, that I eventually do plan to kind of go back to and buy piece by piece. But I just, I just can't, I just can't uh, do all the catching up right now. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of, I don't know, maybe June, June might be a little dicey too, honestly, because I do have some things that I need to be doing in June also. Maybe July might be a better time for all of that. Um, I mean, there are albums I'll be getting along the way, comebacks and stuff that I will be buying. But as far as getting every comeback for every artist that I like ever, that's just not possible to do in real time. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the pressure go, <laughs> and I'm just gonna buy things when I can and post when I have things to post, and not worry so much about all of that because this is all supposed to be very fun. It's supposed to be very fun. It's supposed to be a fun hobby, things we like doing. When it becomes stressful, it becomes something you don't want to do. And I don't want this to become something that I don't want to do. I want it to stay something that I love doing and that I enjoy doing. So I'm going to stop trying to be a completionist and I'm just going to focus on the things that I want to do and the things I want to buy. And whenever I can buy stuff, I can. And that'll be great. But I'm just going to try to focus less on the the stressful parts <laughs> and and let that part go and and just be okay with my collection and the changes that I'm making um and I think it'll be good I think it'll be good because I'm very excited about my Chicago trip I'm I'm nervous because <laughs> I'm like very shy and I'm very introverted I don't know how often that comes across in my videos but I am I'm very I'm very much those things and so going somewhere you know, by myself, you know, I, it's, it's like, ah, wow, you know, brand new world. Um, but I'm excited about it because I haven't been out of Florida since 2019 and I don't like Florida at all. I hate Florida. <laughs> so I'm excited to leave, even if it's just for a few days and making the choice between do I buy things or do I have an experience? I, I, I choose the experience because, I, I want to have this memory and things are great and I love things. <laughs> I'd be a, I'd be a whole liar if I didn't say I liked things. I'm a collection channel. Like my my ch my channel is all about the things I buy. I love things. But I haven't had an experience like a traveling, going out of my comfort zone, getting out to a whole nother state experience in a very long time. So I I prioritize that and I have no regrets and I'm very excited about that. But yeah, I think it's I think it's good to kind of reassess where you are every now and again. And for me, this is where I'm at. Again, not changing anything with my photo card collecting because I don't collect for a lot of people, so that's not really an issue. But the album collecting is definitely going to have to change because I just cannot maintain. <laughs> I cannot maintain the level of collecting that I did before, and I think that's fine. I think that's okay. I'm 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 just gonna be fine with it. I'm gonna be okay with it because. Again, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be just a good experience. And I don't ever want it to be something that I don't want to do because it's stressing me out. It shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't be something that I'm putting pressure on myself to buy all of this stuff. Because I don't need all of this stuff. These are just wants. These are just things that I would like to have. I don't need five versions of the same album. <laughs> so I'm just going to be okay with that. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about it just because, I don't know, I haven't done a chat video in a while. I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts together. It was very rambly, but I hope some of it made sense. Um, let me know if you've had kind of any thoughts about your collecting, if you've made any changes on it, what you plan on doing this year, if you're traveling anywhere, if you're doing anything super exciting. I'm, I'm just really, I'm really excited about... The things that I have planned because 
I feel like they'll get me out of my shell and they'll get me out of my comfort zone and I very much am a person that needs the push and sometimes I have to be the person that pushes myself and it's, it's kind of uncomfortable but I need to do it like I need to do it so I'm excited about that excited excited to be excited because I haven't had this much anticipation I'm just really happy about it of course there's life stresses and stuff like that but I mean that's unavoidable <laughs> but again I'm very excited and I got I got a shirt for the event. So I showed Brandon the shirt. I love it. I think it's wonderful. But that's unrelated to all the K-pop stuff. But yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching. Again, I think I mentioned this in this whole rambly video, but I never expected anyone to really watch my videos. I don't know how the YouTube algorithm really works. <laughs> I don't I don't know how all that stuff works. I'm not I'm not smart enough to know how all that works, but I never really expected anyone to watch my videos or to listen to me talk or to comment on anything. I just made this channel as a place where I can kind of talk about my collection, document my collection, talk about the things that I liked and all of that. It wasn't something where I thought that anyone would really watch me do any of it. And I'm just very grateful that anyone even thinks to comment at all and comments I get are so incredibly nice and so sweet and I'm very much appreciative of them and it's just really my channel has been such a great place for me and I'm just very appreciative of all of you for just being so kind to me and so great and yeah I probably won't be posting as often because I, I used to post like at least once a week, sometimes two or three times a week because I would just get album, 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 album. But I, I don't I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I the mainstay videos will definitely be the, the, the monthly haul of everything that I've gotten um, in the photo card uh, storing videos. Those will be regulars. Those are things that I always plan on having. But as far as additional unboxings and then hauls and stuff like that, that'll come when they come, I guess. Just don't know what my input of albums is gonna be over the next like month or two or three or for the foreseeable future. But I'm just really grateful for all of you and for all of your kindness because all of you have been so nice to me and I really, really, really appreciate it. So yeah, I hope that all of you are staying healthy and safe and have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye!